Hello everybody, Bernie J2 here, and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator. Today we got a load of gypsum, gypsum, 42,306 pounds going to Kingsman to the sell goods up there. And uh, we got 10 hours and 57 minutes to get there. It's only a measly, you know, 400 or 234 miles. So uh, we should be fine. But I just wanted to... Uh, make sure that my trailer lights are working so let's turn on the lights and the flashers there we go because then i know that uh, my lights are working properly and that uh, i can't get a ticket for it so let's turn that off and uh let's get out of here shall we i already got the bills they're uh they're over in that passenger seat might not be able to see them but uh i i disguise them pretty well Boy, we are sure are heavy today, though. Am I going to make it? Yeah, barely. I'm not making it. Okay. 234 miles. That ain't too bad. And I know on this trip we are going to need some diesel. Some go-go juice. We're about down to a quarter. There we go. Turn on my lights because we're out of the uh, out of the depot. We're the shipper. Some people may call them. So right now we're in Phoenix. So we've been we've been going through Phoenix Get quite a bit. Thank you. I need to give you a name. I haven't given you a name yet. <laughs> Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Mm, oh boy, much heavier than what we are. <laughs> right there, the load probably would have shifted, but you know, hey, you know what they say. Who's turning it? Okay, well, you just go slow. Maybe we hauled some of that yesterday, most likely. My turn. My turn now. Okay. There's Popo over there, so we can't do nothing too crazy. Oh, and I believe we also made enough money last um, last trip. Here, let's see. Oh, nope, not yet. We we haven't made enough money to pay off that next ten thousand dollar loan. I think the hundred thousand dollar one. We're just gonna let it take payments off. Get ready to turn oh, right. Nope, not yet. Just because I don't know, hundred thousand dollars is a lot. I think before that we'll buy another truck for a. Turn right. Well, you know, before you turn right, you might want to get there. There we go. There we go. Oh, and also, I turned down the rain probability. I guess it's been raining for about... Eh, of my trips, about three trips straight, it's been raining. So I, I turned it down. So... When I drove a truck, it... it rain pretty much all the time now actually no we didn't see a lot of rain we, we saw more snow and ice but you know I can't complain too much beautiful scenery if you guys want to see you know drop a like and I'll put up some uh, I'll make a video of all the pictures and stuff that we've seen time uh, actually no we don't have any time lapses but we do have you know we have uh, pictures of sunrises sunsets and stuff Maybe I'll do that anyway. Share the wealth of uh, the scenery of the United States. Not everybody gets to do it, so I'm lucky that uh, I got Go to do it. Go straight on. Go straight on. Actually, here, let's look at the map right quick. And okay, so right here, I believe, is where we're gonna be fueling up. And I think we actually might take a nap as well. So it probably won't be a too terribly long. I mean, Kingman's right up here. I mean, but I think we're going to go up, get off here, and take a nap and get some go-go juice and so on. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Anybody getting on? Nope. Okay. So the speed limit is 65. We're doing about 63-ish miles an hour. Nope, oh, someone got pulled over or something over there. 
keep right and then exit right. Okay, it looks like we're just gonna stay in the right lane because we're gonna get off. Eh, here it is. Exit right. How many people, you know, keep they all left. have and then turn left. No jig breaking in the rain and so on and so forth. I did. Turn because, left. Because you know, sometimes that extra power is just what you need. Is this like a turn? No, it's not. Because I wasn't up here in time. Right there. But yeah, I did. Uh, the only time I didn't was in the snow. Because that's just no good. No good at all. If it was just wet, yeah, but eh. it, it's sketchy either way. Thank you. What's oh, behind me? I don't, I don't even know what time it is. There we go. Turning left. Might as well get in our slow lane because this is where we belong. It's 2.38 in the morning. Oh, of course it is. Getting pretty close. Well, that's not mine. It's not mine. It was close. <laughs> and go. There we go. Looks like I got 237 miles left of fuel remaining. So potentially we could make it 198. Yeah, we could potentially make it to uh, Kingsman before we got go-go juice. But why do that, right? Why do that? Oh look, someone's got hay. A lot of hay. Come on, stay in your lane. So I think this is going to be a four-lane highway the whole way until we get off and onto, uh, what is it, 95, I think. And then it will be a uh, two-laner. What are we doing? Are we going up a slight hill or something? That is one thing about this game. I wish uh, there was more hills, uh, more terrain diversity, and, you know, logbooks. Like, I, I wish they could put it into the game. Like, you have to follow the law books, and you have to follow the actual law. And it would put on your CSA, you know, stuff like that. It would, it would make it harder, of course, which is good. I mean, it, it is a truck simulator, so wouldn't you want to make it as real as possible? That's what I always thought, right? Speed limit is 75, we're still trying to get up to 65. That just shows you how heavy we actually are. Now it's back down to 65. And we're going up a hill, so I'm not letting, or I'm not slowing down. Even though there's a cop in front of me, he can get me all he wants. But I'm not slowing down to go up a hill. That, you would just be stupid. Completely stupid if you did that. Keep right, and then exit right. Okay, keep right and exit right. Copy. Exit right. It is 35, 30 actually, so let's slow down to 30. And we're just going around town. Keep it right at 30. Keep left. And then turn left. Oh, we're getting on the 93, not the 95. Whoops, misread. Oh, well. He's going to stay turn green for us. Wow, you are. Oh, well. It's too far in it to say no. That's, that's one cool thing about driving a semi, though, is that if you get too close to a light, and you don't think you can make it, you can pretty much just go because no one's going to say, oh yeah, you're going to have to stop or else you're going to kill everybody. So, like most of the time I was hauling about, I was about 77 to 79,000 pounds and uh, the light turned yellow and I just kept going because there was no way in hell that you were going to get me stopped just because, you know, well, it also depends on how, how much you could, or how fast you were going. But uh, I was going through, uh, what was it, Lake Utah. And uh, 
That's right there by uh, Salt Lake City. About eh, 20, 30 miles north, give or take. But, uh, yeah, I was driving along, and I was on, uh, what is it, uh, Highway 92 or something like that. Anyway, I was driving along, and there's no jake brake. So you couldn't have the jake brake on whatsoever because it's like one of them uh, uh, city towns that can't can't be loud. So you got to use your brake. And normally I had a beer load coming out of uh, Golden, Colorado, going to uh, somewhere in, in uh, uh, Washington, Oregon, and so on. And you just had to uh, deal with it. Okay, let's find a new route. Well, yeah, I need some go-go juice. Turn. There we go. Don't hit the trailer. Don't hit the trailer. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we're here at the gas station. We're just going to fill it up right quick. Ouch. That hurt. Three dollars and twenty cents a gallon, and we got 118 gallons. Ooh, we that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. We'll honk and say hi right quick. Okay. Wait. Okay, so we'll just park right in the middle of everything. Not legit, but we'll get some daytime driving. Oh, hey. My loan was paid. That's great. No, oh, I want to pick up the parking brake. That'd be good. Nobody coming. Let's get the hell out of here. Hasayampa River. Yep, looks like a river to me. Ooh wee, big river. Okay, oh, it looks like a roundabout. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Y'all turning? Okay, works for me. Exit now. I don't really know how to do roundabouts. Like where I'm from, there is none. But whatever. I mean, I have had to drive in a few roundabouts with semi. That was interesting. We got 128 miles left, so oh, turn off these. There we go. But yeah, I had to do a few roundabouts. Uh, like we were in Kashmir, Washington, picking up some fruit, and uh, they had this roundabout. Well. The truck went went around the roundabout. The trailer went through the middle of it, and there's nothing you can do about it because if you went too wide, you would run into a building. So it was almost worthless to even try. But yeah, <laughs> I don't like roundabouts. Sooner or later, we're going to have to get a reefer load. I can't remember if the reefer makes any noise. If you're hauling frozen food in this game. I know uh, I, I mainly hauled reefer, uh, like frozen foods and stuff like that. Um, I, I preferred the reefer because I slept better. You know, because uh, I got used to it. So then I just, I just drove with the reefer. Or I like the reefer loads. What was crazy about it is when you're sleeping with the reefer, it's you know it's like having a fan on, right? You get used to it. You get, you get used to the vibrations and so on and so forth. But when you don't have the reefer, it's like what in the world is going on? You can hear everything, and it's like no, don't like it. Don't like it. Especially one time I was in, uh, where was I? Lathrop. Oh, look at that big old hole. Look at there. Crazy. 
Yeah, I was in Lathrop, California, right there by Sacramento and all that. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, mine lane ends? Okay, let's see who tries to kill me this time. Oh, nobody? Wow. Oh, am I going to have the speed to pass him? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Anyway, so uh, Lathrop's just south of uh, Sacramento and Stockton. Oh, maybe I am. And uh, we, we reserved a parking spot down there, and we parked up, and we were sleeping. And it was a bad day, so I took sleep aid. And then all of a sudden, this guy decided that uh, he wanted to back into my truck. It looked like a bear claw just ripped the crap out of the truck. It was crazy. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, I woke up and had to tell him, oh, hey, you hit my truck. I, I wasn't mad that he hit my truck. I wasn't mad that, uh, you know, I wasn't mad, you know, stuff happens. But when he said, no, I didn't, he said, no, I didn't. I did not hit your truck. And I said, okay, now I'm mad. I said, get your shit on and come over here. And I showed him. And he's like, oh, man, I thought I did pretty good. I was pissed. Absolutely mad. Because you can't tell me that you don't know. You know, the, these things on the side of the truck, they're called mirrors, you know. Use them. You know, you and being a seat heel driver, you should know that you're supposed to use them. Oh, why are we stopping? Oh, boy. Two-lane highway, huh? And we got 54 miles left. It shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah, I mean, it was absolutely terrible. It was. So I had to call my dispatch. I had to figure out what the hell I had to do. Get his insurance, his license, his... Um, truck company name, truck number, trailer number, the whole five yards. And then I had to prove that I didn't do anything. And I said, yo, I was sleeping in the sleeper. And where the trailer hit, it was right below my head. So, of course, my fiance thought I died. I was like, no, I didn't die. You know, it was just, it was closer than what it should have been. But that gum, she's a heavy one, that's for sure. I think we need to uh, upgrade the, the motor. That's what I think we need to do. But I also think we need to get a new truck, get some more money from people. Oh, you ain't going to tell me what to do? Keep left? You didn't tell me nothing. What the heck? Yeah, what's the speed limit for this one? 35? Eh, I don't know about that. I mean, you got to keep some speed up for the, the on-ramp. But then again, we are heavy. So we'll do about 30. Ooh, too far, too far. Uh -huh. There's a bus. Semi. Anybody gonna let me over? Anybody gonna let me over? Eh, nope. Really? Oh, now you let me over. Whatever, you dick. Give him a flu foul. Loop. Flash, flash, flash. There we go. It's basically a thank you. You can, uh, normally in, this, in the truck I drove, you could, uh, on the uh, steering wheel, there was a button that could kill the tail lights. That's basically what I did to say thank you. But in this game, I guess uh, that don't really go well. Also, if you flash your lights, you know, that uh, that also helps out. <laughs> it was funny. I was going to a, a different town up north, and uh, this this uh, Ford F-150 was on this big old trailer. Overloaded that truck super bad. And uh, so I flashed him, you know, thinking, oh, well, not even think about it, you know, I'm a, I'm a truck driver. So I flashed him. And so basically all he did was he pulled out in front of me, and as I passed him, he flipped me off. 
and I'm like, what in the world is your problem? Well, get over. I was like, what What in the world is your problem, you know? I'm just helping you out. But, oh, and people like that all the time just drive me nuts. Because you could have gotten over. You saw the sign just as well as I to get over. Keep right. So why didn't she get over? Right. You know, just little things. Causes traffic, causes headaches and everything else. Exit right. Exit right. Exit 53. Peach Springs, huh? Nope, we're going to Kingman. Turn left. Oh, I'll slow down. There we go. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. No right turn. Why? What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, what's really cool is that you can look down into uh, other people's uh, other people's cars. What are you doing? What are you doing? What in the world? Ran a red light, and then that one almost just came out just for fun. Keep right. And then turn right. Keep right and turn right. Okay, whatever. Turn right. Anybody coming? No, nobody's coming, thank goodness. Sure that goes right around the corner. Right around the curb. You know when uh, when I took my CDL test, if you hit the curb you failed. And uh, that was like a big deal. I'm like, oh no, you know, don't hit the curb. Well, the funniest thing about the whole thing is, how did they get in there? Let alone, how are they gonna get out? Anyway, uh, besides the point, the funniest thing about the whole thing is when I first drove alone, I was in Sparks, Nevada, right next to Reno. Get ready to turn left. And uh, I turned the corner, and I was like, the way the corner turned. I followed the, the corner left. with the trailer, or the curb. Nobody's coming. Okay. You have arrived at your destination. Oh. Your route guidance is now finished. I forgot to turn up the difficulty. Whoops. Okay, well here, let's let's go in here. And uh, let, let's see uh, where they want the trailer, even though it's right ahead. And we've got to keep it somewhat realistic. Okay, well... Uh, they said that, uh, there wasn't no doors open, even though there's one here, so they wanted me to pull up right here and just leave it, and the, the yard dog will move it over, which is fine with me. Whatever. Go. Cool. See if I can actually get this thing straight enough for the, the yard dog. Yard hustler, yard dog, yard jockey, whatever you want to call them. Unlatch the trailer. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was late. Oops. Shouldn't have slept, but, you know, hey, what can we do? Uh, so basically, we, uh, 234 miles, 16 hours, because I took a sleep. But, uh, I wanted to drive in the daytime, so hell, why not? We only lost 750 bucks, so it's not, it's not terrible. But, uh, yeah, pretty much, we need to get to, uh, level 5, and right now we're at level 4, or level 3, if I can read. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. And uh, if you want to see anything, let me know. Thank you for watching, and uh, take care.